What's up, everybody? I have a fun conversation, unfortunate conversation, a factual conversation for you. UFC, former UFC rising star, super sage Northcutt has left his previous supplement sponsor, Labrada Nutrition, and recently signed with Redcon One. Why does this matter and why am I talking to you about it? I'm talking to you not because I'm mad at Sage. The dude is chasing cash. He's trying to get paid. What happened with Labrada? Why he left Labrada? Who knows? But most likely he's getting paid more from Redcon 1 than he was from Labrada Nutrition. People change jobs all the time. That's fine. Not mad at Shade or at Sage at all for that, for any of this. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to use Sage's example to show you how the media, the marketing, the supplement industry really is just a crock of shit. Now, when you go through Sage Northcutt's Instagram page, he's got almost 800,000 followers. So it's a pretty powerful profile that he has. You will see a year, two years or so ago, he was Labrada everything. I mean, dude does a great job at representing products. And I understand why he is a marketable guy. He's a good looking guy. He's got a great physique. He seems to be a really nice person too. He's the type of guy that most businesses want to align themselves with. That's fine. That's the business. Now, unfortunately... He was with Labrada, talked about Labrada, promoted Labrada, was taking Labrada, we assume, right? All over the place and inferring the, the, you know, muscularity of his physique, the leanness was as a result of Labrada nutrition products. That was as recent as June 29th, 2020. On July 16th, 2020, Barely two weeks later, they announced that he signs with Redcon 1, and it's literally the same type of images, the same type of poses, the same type of, 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 of you know, comments and, and posts and things such as that with Redcon. So basically, he took the Labrada supplements, threw them to the side, put the Redcon supplements exactly where the Labrada supplements were, and continued on. Now inferring that Redcon 1 is responsible for his muscularity, for his leanness, for his performance. And the joke is, none of it matters. It doesn't work. What bothers me most about this is not that Sage is getting paid. I want to see everybody get paid and make money. What bothers me most is he's pushing these products that don't really work, right? And everybody in the industry knows I'm friends with, with supplement company owners and all that different stuff. And behind the scenes, ha ha, we joke about it and wink, wink. But I'm one of the few guys that actually has the, the balls to sit here and tell you the vast majority, almost every single, single sports supplement product doesn't work. It doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Sage Northcutt looks exactly the same on Labrada products as he does on Redcon 1 products. And I would assume he's probably not really taken any of that. Sage Northcutt, man, the kid was in great shape when he was an adolescent. Dude's got pristine genetics, right? He trains hard. He seems to eat well. He's also sponsored by Trifecta Nutrition. So he's getting his meals delivered to his house, big old boxes of meals. So he's sponsored by A or B supplement company. He's sponsored by a food company, which is great. He's got the look for it. My point is, he's being sponsored by these supplement companies. And I don't think Redcon is bad or Labrada is bad or any of these other companies are inherently bad. What I do think is bad is the misuse of marketing. And that's what I wanted to share with you. This is just a conversation for you and I, two friends just hanging out, chit-chatting. And it's always interesting to see, and I speak about this with bodybuilders. You will see famous bodybuilders. They'll jump from brand A to brand B to brand C to brand D. Now, their physique looks exactly the same, whether they're sponsored by a supplement company or not sponsored by a supplement company. 
when they're sponsored by a supplement company, they give all the credit to the supplement company for their physique. And then they're not happy with their contract. The supplement sponsor is not happy with them. They separate from the agreement and all of a sudden they still have the same physique, whether or not they're taking those supplements or not. Point is these supplements don't work. They don't work. A little bit of protein powder, a little bit of, of creatine monohydrate, uh, maybe some L-citrulline, some beta alanine. God forbid we're getting a little crazy. Very few, very few sports supplements actually do anything. And the vast majority are a waste of time and money. My God. But the sports supplement industry is a multi-billion dollar industry because they get good looking guys like Sage Northcutt to rep their products to 800,000 or so of his social media followers. He infers his physique is a result of supplement A or supplement B, but when in fact it's probably Trifecta who actually should get most of the credit, but Trifecta's chicken and steak and broccoli and rice won't get the credit for it. Some sort of, of crappy synthetic toxic um, chemical will get all the credit when in fact whatever the hell might be in one of those jugs doesn't do damn dick anyway. So again, I'm not mad that Sage Northcutt's getting paid. I hope the dude is making high six figures because he deserves it. Now, you know, knowing media, knowing, knowing marketing, if Sage isn't pulling six figures plus guaranteed on top of any sort of promotional affiliate campaign he's running, he's getting, he's getting a raw deal. So I would assume Sage is, is a guaranteed buck 25, 10K a month minimum just to offer his likeness to a supplement company and then has tons of incentives dumped onto that. Probably, in my opinion, that should be closer to a quarter mil, 250K yearly turn for a guy like Sage. If not, he's got to figure out his marketing campaign, his management campaign a little bit more. And I know the industry, right? I know the industry. I know the owners. I know the athletes. I see a lot of the deals. I work with some of the athletes under similar deals, bigger and, and not as big deals globally. So that's a whole nother conversation. So again, I'm not mad at Sage. Dude, make your money, man. Make your money. But at the same time, for any person who sees Sage's profile or anyone else, to assume that any of those sports supplements have 5% impact on the individual's physique, you are just completely off base. You are fooling yourself. There is no sports supplement over the counter sports supplement on the planet that will give you a 5% boost to performance. It's not going to happen. Prove me wrong. Leave comments below. Let me know. Like I said, a whey protein isolate, a little bit of extra protein. Sure, the supplemental protein can definitely help. Well, we can get that from chicken, steak, fish, eggs, hemp seeds even for the vegan bros out there. But that's just a, a more of a convenience ancillary product than anything else. A little bit of a creatine monohydrate. Sure, we can get a little bit of a bump from a creatine monohydrate, but I'm more concerned or I, I more look towards the cognitive impact of creatine monohydrate long term on humans than the short term three, six week little bit of, of, of boost that creatine can give. And creatine can give you a little boost short term for sure. Long term, eh, we're going to default back to real food once again. Um, that's my thoughts. I wanted to share it with you. I think it's comical. And again, I'll say it again. I'm not mad at Sage. I hope Sage makes makes hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in every athlete out there. But at the same time, you know, I have this tension of opposites. I get really irritated because many kids, young impressionable kids who look at Sage and are like, dude, I want that guy's my age. I want to look like that. How do I look like that? Oh, he's taking supplement A. I should take supplement A. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Number one, they don't have Sage's pristine genetics. Number two, they don't have his lifestyle. Number three, they don't train as hard. They don't eat nearly as well as a guy like Sage does. That is the benefit. 
That's why the kid looks the way he does. And I say kid respectfully. I'm, I'm old enough to be his dad at this stage. Um, that's why he looks the way he does. And if you have an open, honest conversation with him or any of the other athletes out there, they're like, oh, yeah. Now, I know a lot of athletes that just jump ship every six to 18 months when their contract expires. They're just trying to help the company move product so they can get a bigger contract and, and keep moving forward to make more money to bring that home to their families. They will say whatever the hell they have to say in order to flip product to get a bigger contract that encourages them to flip more product to get a bigger contract. That's that game. And a lot of these athletes that figure the physique athletes, unfortunately, that's one of the few ways that they can actually make some cash is flipping product for these sponsors that pay them. You know, may, I mean, if you're making a couple grand a month these days for the average athlete, you're not a superstar like a Sage Northcutt. Kid's a superstar. He translates really well. He, he moves the needle, as Dana White would say. So kid like Sage, man, he's one of the few and far between. Most of the other athletes out there, NPC, IFBB, UFC, Bellator, these kids are lucky to get a grand a month and some free product. They're going to get an affiliate code, right? Then it's like, hey, be a salesperson for us. And that doesn't really work very well anyway for a lot of these guys out there because now they're overly selling and you, you could feel the desperation in their, in their tweets and in their posts, right? Like, the dude's pushing too hard. And most of the time, none of these people... Look like Sage. You got to give kid credit. Dude looks fucking awesome, right? Looks great. I guarantee you. I'll see if I can get him on the podcast. I guarantee you. Sage Northcutt has basically looked the same way his entire life. And if you look back and you can see some of his earlier training, fucking dude looked amazing. And then he gets a sponsorship with Labrada. And I wonder what happened. I should reach out to the guys. I do know some of the guys over at Labrada. It's, I don't really care, though. Not my business, per se. Um, but still, maybe I can get Sage on the show, have a chit-chat about his career and everything else, the way he trains more than anything. And then you can talk a little bit about the, the whole supplement world. But I just, I'm going to close it right now. I just wanted you guys to be aware that dude like Sage Northcutt, all hardcore Labrada for the last few years. Within two weeks, June 29th, all Labrada. July 16th, all Redcon. Boom, clip. He just took the label off one, put it around the other, exact same pose all the way through, which I think is comical. Kid looks great, but he looks exactly the same, right? And Redcon 1 has nothing to do with the way he looks. And I don't believe Labrada had anything to do with the way he looks. And I would give more credibility to Trifecta, which is a whole food co a food company, than anybody else. What do you guys think? Leave comments below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this. Until next time, boom.